everyone, my name is Nikki and this is That's Where She Grows. Today with all the wildfires that are going on in like Ontario and BC and probably Alberta, I wanted to just address a concern regarding air quality because as we all know air quality and plants go, definitely go hand in hand. I think that's a lot of the reason why people do get into house plants is to try and help improve the air quality in their homes, especially during winter where you can't get outside quite as much due to the cold. So one of my favorite air cleaning plants is right behind me. It's the Sansevieria, otherwise known as the snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. I have a whole row of them back here. One of the reasons I absolutely love these plants, not only does it produce oxygen during the day as well as at night, it removes benzene as well as formaldehyde from the air. And I believe it's called toluene toluene, something like that, and a few other, it definitely removes a few other things. It removes four out of the five chemicals out of the air that um, result in, or that, what do you call this, building sickness, that like building sickness um, produces chemicals into your air when an older building, <laughs> when you have an older building or live in an older building, the chemicals that make up to it kind of build up and they turn into gases and are released from like, you know, the paints and like compression board, things like that. Sorry, I am not a builder, but I know that there's a lot of chemicals that go into making up these products and then that slowly gets released into your home over time. Now, at this day and age, a lot of places are able to make more eco-friendly options um, as that has become more common these days but you know there's definitely still a lot of chemicals in people's houses so the plants definitely help to remove the chemicals out of the air and produce more oxygen in your home especially right now i i feel like this is a big important deal with the with the um so the people outside staring at me <laughs> It's a really important to have air purifying plants in your home right now with all the fires going on. I woke up today, I looked outside and it is so smoky. There's like a huge layer of smoke outside. You can literally stare at the sun because it's just covered in smoke. It's orange. So I wanted to take a minute and just address this. And snake plants are also amazing, not only for air purifying, but if you are bad at taking care of plants, this is the plant for you. This plant is so easy you water it like every four to six weeks depending on the humidity in your home and it's like a medium or low light plant you can pretty much stick it anywhere as long as it can see a window it doesn't have to be in direct light it can be doesn't have to be but it can be in low light and really good for your bedroom as well i i love them for their ease of use getting the larger statement ones like i have behind me that are like between eight and ten inches look amazing in a nice pot in a corner it really softens a corner of a home and really creates it from what do you call this it really makes it a home is what i'm trying to say so yeah, it's pretty early. I haven't had coffee or anything, so don't mind me. I just really wanted to get on here and kind of go over that, go over some of the benefits of the snake plants. They're amazing. Another really good air purifying plant is the peace lily. Now these are toxic to pets, so if you're gonna have them, definitely put them in a macrame hanger or hang them up or put them on a shelf. Uh, these ones are one of the, the very few plants that also remove ammonia from your home as well so these are amazing they're beautiful the peace lilies we have here are ever blooming so they always have the white spots or the white flowers that are blooming and they're just gorgeous yeah so i wanted to do like a quick video for you guys today i'm going to be literally uploading this today and i wanted to show you some plants and put, really put a focus on air purifying, really take care of yourself inside and out. And you know, environment isn't necessarily something we can change outside at the moment, but you can definitely change your environment inside your home by increasing your plants. All right, thanks everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Ah. I'm out, peace.